Hello, welcome to part two of this memory game app, memory game game in MIT App Inventor. So I am Krishna Raghavendran, and in this tutorial we will do the flipping. So if they click on one card, which is a button, then it will show an image like a cat or a dog. So if you haven't seen part one, please see it now, and then you can see this video. Yes. So now what I am going to do is that first let me go to the blocks. So I am going to put nine variables called C1, C2, the button names. Now let me put initialize global. I am going to put C1 here. Let it be empty. The first. So like that let me do for till C9. this and now I'm going to keep it properly so now we have all these variables now we need another variable called random so I'll tell why this random is used you will do it when I do the procedures yes so now we need some procedures like C1, C2, C3, C4, like that for all the buttons we need procedures. So now let me drag in a procedure from here. So I'm going to name this C1. So this random is used to, so now I'm going to upload some images of different cards. So here we can see many cards. So let me upload. So here you can see that I have uploaded these all the cards. So now what I'm going to do is that I have a cat card. So now let me preview and show this. So here you can see this card. The cow card like that I have made for a dog horse and a lion so what i'm going to do is that every time the user plays a new game the the button should get a different picture for example if they click on this button and they flip it in the first game it it should be cat in the second it should be cow so we need to randomize it for that only we created this random variable now using this procedure we are going to set the random to random integer so here we are going to set the random to random integer from 1 to 5 because there are five images here you can see cat cow dog horse and lion so you can put how much ever you want i have just used five and these buttons also are used nine 3 into 3 and you can use how much ever you want so now I'll set this random to it's going to be a random integer so here we can see it from 1 to 5 yes so now what I'm going to do is that after I set it we need if condition if the random is equal to so now let me bring the variable called random global random if the random is equal to 1 then I will set this c1 variable so this c1 variable is to store the image name for example like the cat hyphen card dot jpg so when we store it and then after they flip the card we need to show them the picture so we are storing it in this variable so for c1 procedure i will store it in the c1 variable so i'm setting this c1 to it's going to be let me duplicate make sure the name is correct or else it will not work it is cat 
I'm sorry, I think C is small hyphen card. Now let me check if it is correct. Here you can see cat comma uh, cat hyphen card like that for all the animals. So now what I'm going to do is that copy and paste this if condition. I'm sorry. This here like that five times. Yes. So now let me change this to two. And this should be C1 only because this whole procedure we will we are going to check if the random is one or two or three. So if it is two, then it's going to be dog. So you can put the images of yours dog hyphen card, and then this one it's going to be cow for three. Random is if the random integer is three. Like that you can, you need to do for all of them. So now you can see that I have did like this. For three, I did four, I did and at last for five, I'm setting it to horsecore.jpg. So now like this, we need to do for all the buttons. C1, C2. So I think that the space, if you want to make it understand, you can collapse this so that it looks smaller. Again, if you double click, it will get expanded. So I'm going to collapse it. Now duplicate. So like that for C2, I'm going to do now. So here you can see C2, let me expand. And I just need to change everything to C2. Now I changed it, now let me collapse it. Like that, Let's let me do for from C1 to C9. So now I have finished putting all these procedures C1, C2 and I I didn't expand them so that we will have more space to do it. The others. So now I'm going to do like when C1 click. What should I do? I need to change. It means that they are flipping it. So I'm going to change the image of C1. So here, if I go here, you can see set c1 dot image. So the image is going to be in this variable. So in the procedures, you have seen that we we we. For example, if I take this procedure, you can see that I'm setting this to the image name. So if the random is one, then I'll set the image to be cat or else dog if the random is two. So I'll put the image name in these variables like C1, C2. So now and when they click it, I'm just getting the image name from this variable and setting it of in the button's image. So now then if you test it, it will look like it is flipping. Now there is one thing we need to do. Before we start copying and pasting this for all the buttons, you need to put these, we need to call these procedures in the start. So the procedures are going to be call C1 with that till C9. I'm going to call all the procedures. So that in the beginning, it will do all these, it will set the random number and do uh, finish doing all these procedures. So now let me put it C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7, C8 and C9. So there's one extra block. Let me delete it. Yes. So now after we call this, now we can start copying these. So let me change this to C2. Copy again C3. Make sure you are also changing this, the image button name. And then even, I'm sorry, this should be C2. And even the variable to C2. Like that for C3. This one should be C3. 
So here you can see that I have finished till C9 dot click set C9 dot image to get global C9. So now I can again collapse this box so that it will be easy for us to understand. If you don't do this also it will work but I'm just doing this so that it will not be confusing for us when we are doing the other blocks. Yes, so now it looks the blocks are nicely arranged and I can understand properly. Now let us test our app and see if it is working. So here we can see our app. So now till now we have done only the flipping. In the next part we will do the others like score and points and many things like that. So now let's test. So I'm going to click on this, the first card. You can see that the horse card is has came so it is picking a random so it it when i click it it opens a random animal so this one is lion so like that i can do for any card i want cow horse again it it works good so here you can see all the cards are open and it looks like we are playing a real card game so thank you for watching this tutorial Please subscribe, like and share this video.